Hey guys, what is up? It is Peanut here, and today I got an unboxing video for you guys. Today's video is going to be on the Corsair Gaming Strafe RGB Mechanical Keyboard. Uh, this keyboard is with the MX Silent Cherry Switches, so when you're typing, it should be silent and more dampening, so it doesn't pick up with the microphone. So, uh, let's just take a quick look at the box. Before I record this video, I just want to tell you that uh, <clears throat> I'm sick currently, so my voice sounds like weird. It's because of that, and if I start losing my voice, it's because I'm being coughing nonstop. So here, uh, multicolor per key, just stuff like that. MX Cherry switches. It's designed for gaming. Like it just tells you all the advertising and stuff. So let me just put this down right here and flip over the box and we'll take a look at that in a minute. <clears throat> Got my throat. Alright, here we go at the back of the box. It just shows a picture of the keyboard and how like these are textured here, which we'll get into once I open it. It has easy access multimedia controls. 100% uh, anti-ghosting and full key rollover on USB. It has lightning mode. Lighting, not lightning. Um, ultra durable detachable soft touch. Uh, what is this? The rest for your wrist. I might take that off. I'm not really a big fan of those. Cherry MX on key switches right there again. And yeah, it says all that stuff. So let's get this opened. Let me just see where you actually open this. Alright, so right here we gotta cut the tape off. If I can get that into the video, that would be nice. You guys see? Alright, let's get this. Oh crap, I forgot to turn the light on. One minute, I'll be right back. Oh, the lamp light to add the extra light. There we go. Is that white? That looks like blue. Who cares? It just adds a little bit more light over here for the unboxing video. So let's open the box. One handed knife right here. This nice smooth cut and over here get that open nice so let's open this what is it take this thing out without ripping it and pull this down and um, I'm opening this upside down let's flip this over Here we go guys, right here, the opening, make sure I get this all on the camera, lift that bad boy up, and let's take a look, does this bend back or is this apparently not, alright, take a look at what's inside here, so, right here, first when you open it, you get their branding, you can get that into the camera, and the wrist rest, so when you're typing, it, it like, you can like rest your wrist on that, so we're gonna put this aside, talk about that later just flip this up this is their like guide like just tell you about the keyboard everything this right here are the extra keycaps so if you are doing FPS gaming like CSGO you can highlight WASD oh wow that feels nice anyways this is also textured for like more grip and they have the other keys what is it um P O E F O W like stuff like that. I don't even know if that's D or no. But they have these keys if you're into like the MMO gaming stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that would go like right here. Alright. Anything in here? Cables, cables, cables. Now let's get this open. Just put this down for a minute. God, I like nose. Alright, just take this out. It's pretty heavy. It feels like good quality. If I can get this out, my god. Why are the cables jammed in there? Alright, and would you look at that. Uh, the last time I watched an unboxing video on this, I do not remember it having these. But, I, I thought it would actually look better if they were red, but who cares. I'm not going to be looking at it, so 
Let's get this open. That's that's pretty much it for the box. As you just see it's like empty now. Put this camera down. Throw the box to the side. And the actual keyboard take out of this plastic. Let's see here. Take this out of the plastic. There we go. Just throw that right into the trash can because it's over there. Lay this bad boy down. Alright. So what are these for? Why are there two cables? I don't I thought there would be one, but okay then. There's two USB cables. Uh, let's look at the keyboard. Man, that feels nice. Just listen to that sound. Alright, so we got the keypad over here. This is a normal keyboard. And we got stuff over here. This, like, dims the light. This makes, like, like this locks this button so if you're gaming don't accidentally press it um let's look back here nice they have the usb pass through thing so i can plug my mouse into that which is really nice and that's pretty much it for the keyboard just look around now i'm gonna go plug this in i'll, I'll be back when i do that so hey guys what is up it is peanut here and today I am back. Why'd I do an intro? I don't know. Because it's two hours from the last time I actually recorded the first video, so I'm kind of like messed up right now. Anyways, I'm back. And if you're asking why two hours later, it's because I decided to eat and do other stuff. Anyways, before I was confused why there were two USB cables to power this. But one is to power the actual keyboard. The other is to power the USB passenger thing, which I connect my gaming mouse to. So you see right now, I got some effects going on. I'll go into that later. Uh, on to the actual keyboard. It comes with a detachable wrist rest, which I put on. So you know, you know you're typing. You're not gonna get like carpal tunnel, whatever. Uh, here, this is to lock your Windows key. This button, the one right to the right. Yeah. So if you see right now, it is I think locked. Nope, it's unlocked. If I press the key, it's going to bring me to like the window screen. You want to lock that when you're gaming because if you accidentally press that, you're going to screw up your gaming. So right now, if I press this, it locks it. I chose the color blue. And you see I'm pressing this, and it's doing nothing, which is great. This affects the dim of the computer keys. You can turn it off, low, bright, and really bright. And num lock. When that is in effect, this decides to turn on. And I don't know what A or whatever that does is. I think that locks like the shift key or like some weird stuff. So uh, I'll go and I'll try to like learn about stuff later. And right here is the Corsair thing, which I didn't even know was on there until it lit up. But on to the actual effects. So. Once you get the keyboard installed, you want to go to Corsair.com slash downloads and download the installer guide and you should get a screen pops up like this. This is where you are going to do your lighting. Uh, see, I can change any lighting I want. You can change certain keys, certain colors. Let me just turn this on select lighting effect. So right now, is this all the way up? All right, now it is. All right. I can make WASD a certain color because if you're doing FPS gaming, I just made that white, made the A white, now I'm making the S white, I'm making a D white, so it stands out and I know where to press if I'm in like dark room or something. You know, I'm just going to make the space bar white for the heck of it. There you go, white space bar, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can also change the color of, what is this, the Corsair logo, I'm not going to do that now because I don't like it colored. And there's a bunch of different effects. You see Spiral Rainbow. And as it's shown you on the screen, it also does it on the keyboard. Now I'm going to prop up this so you can actually see all the effects. I'm just going to stick it on top of my monitor. If this will stay. There, you guys can see that, I'm pretty sure. Let me just angle down the, ca the camera. Oops. Did not want to do that. Why is this deciding to like be stupid right now? There you guys go. Now you can see the keyboard. Take a seat. 
and show you all the different colors. So here we got Spiral Rainbow, that's all right now. Rainbow Wave, you see it's waving. Uh, we got Visor, which is what I had in the beginning of the video, which is visors between different colors. Uh, the base color right now I have on is red. You can change it to black so no color show at all, and it'll just do the whole thing color. So moving on, we got rain. It just just a bunch of colors ripples down. You can change all these colors that, like to whatever you want. Right now, I have everything in, like rainbows. Color shift. It just shifts in and out between the color smoothly. We got color pulse. It pulses in and out. Uh, color wave. Obviously, just waves. It's like a wave stream of light and type lighting which is pretty cool so right now these are already white so disregard those but if I type here they're gonna turn white I can change the duration to be long or short or medium so let me just type a bunch of keys so you guys can see this alright there you go so this just turns the keys to a color I have, this set, I have a setting on white you can change any color you want or any two colors I'm pretty sure and then this is the ripple so if I just spam this it just ripples out different colors I have it on blue right now you can change it to any color you want and you can just make certain keys a certain color which I think I already showed so that's pretty much it guys for that like stuff and let me just take the camera down alright and this here is detachable so I can take this off if I want I'm just gonna keep it down I think I already talked about this I tried to record this like five times so I kind of like losing my mind here on what I said so that's it guys for the video oh wait that is not it for the video I'll be right back and get the different keys that you can get all right guys I decided to grab these keycaps so I can show you what they look like Side out. This is what you use to take out the keys. Oops, accidentally pressed that. Let me turn off all these effects I got. Uh, all right, there we go. Just X out of this coarser thing, and let me just slide these out. These nice keycaps. These are textured, so when you're you have better grip or whatever, I guess. So let me just angle the camera down to the WASD. If I can get this. All right, guys, got it angled. Just pop this in. I don't know how to do it. Do you just pull up? Like, what do you do? Oh, see? Just pull right up. And what is it? Was that key W? Yes, it was. We're going to put this key on. Do you just press down? And now it's textured in a different color, so it stands out. We're going to do the other ones. Pull straight out. Put in A. There you go. Take out S. Oh, God. Let me just hold the camera. Take out S. Put in S. Right here. Put in S. S. And while I'm doing this, not realizing I'm doing stuff on the actual computer, I just like selected a bunch of stuff. Alright, take D out and put D back in. I don't know. All right. There we go. And it's also angled here. So like it like curves. So if you see, that's actually pretty nice. And it's still colored. I actually like this feeling better. It has like a better feeling. This stuff is like really smooth up here. Alright, anyways, that's it for the video, guys. There's also more keys for, like, right here, or the MMMO keys, but I'm not that type of person that plays that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the unboxing video. Leave a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.